American Civil Liberties Union and some U.S. states have vowed to fight the Trump administration's decision in court. David Leopold joins me now via Skype from Cleveland. He leads the immigration practice group at the Ulmer Law Firm, and we should add he disagrees with the administration's decision today. Uh, David, so much debate about the humanity, um, that aspect of Trump's decision, but I really want to begin with the legality of DACA. What President Obama did five years ago, was it illegal? Was it unconstitutional? You know what? I'll get to that in a second, but I, I just want to say I think it's really rich. It's really ironic when you have Jeff Sessions, an anti-immigrant extremist who lied to Congress just a few short months ago about his collusion with the Russians. And when he sits there and has the audacity to lecture us about the rule of law, really? But in answer to your question, um, of course it was legal. And the Republicans know it was legal. You know, deferred action has been on the books in America, uh, you know, for as far back as the 70s. And the government has the ability to decide um, how to enforce its own law. So there's no question that uh, DACA was legal. And for Jeff Sessions and others, for Trump, to say that the Supreme Court, you know, split on DAPA, that was the other program, is another falsehood because the Supreme Court did not uphold the denial of DAPA, the other program. The Supreme Court was simply shorthanded because the Republicans refused to uh, allow uh, a nomination by, the, by President Obama. So, David, so, what is going to happen to this? You know, it's, a, it's, it's not a small number we're talking about. We're talking about some 800,000 young undocumented immigrants who only know this country is home. Yeah, it's terrible. Um, well, what's going to happen is what you're seeing now. People are, are, are going to be demonstrating. They're going to be using the courthouses. They're going to be pouring into the streets. Nobody's going to take this lying down. This is wrong. This is not what uh, America is about, and this is not what our system is about. We're not here to, to exclude people, uh, as Trump tried to do earlier in the year, based on religion. Uh, we're not here to, um, you know, uh, to target people because of their, the color of their skin. We're not here to defend neo-Nazis and white supremacists, as the president did a few short weeks ago. And we're not here to throw out um, young, undocumented people who so, came here through no fault of their own. So, David, did the administration have another option here? Yes, to do the right thing. And the right thing would have been to let President Obama's DACA program stay in place so that these dreamers are protected. The right thing would have been to pres for President Trump to get on the phone to Congress and tell them to get to work and pass immigration reform, which they should have done 10, 15 years ago. The right thing would have been not to tear apart families as they're doing day in and day out in this country. The right thing would have been to do something that's good for American economics. And the Dreamer program, as you pointed out earlier in this segment at the top, um, has, has generated billions in, um, in, in, in gross domestic product. All right, we'll have to leave it there. David Leopold, thank you, sir.